listeners and subscribers. Hope all is well. Got another article for you. This one's a little shorter. Hackers target smartphones to mine cryptocurrencies. Figured this would be interesting for my tech followers. Has your smartphone suddenly slowed down, warmed up, and the battery drained down for no apparent reason? If so, it may have been hijacked to mine cryptocurrencies. This new type of cyber attack is called cryptojacking by security experts. It consists of entrapping an internet server, a personal computer, or a smartphone to install malware to mine cryptocurrencies, said Jerome Belois, an expert at the IT service management company Wavestone. Mining is basically the process of helping verify and process transactions in a given virtual currency. In exchange, miners are now and then rewarded with some of the currency themselves. Legitimate mining operations link thousands of processors together to increase the computing power available to earn cryptocurrencies. Mining Bitcoin, Ethereum, Monero, and other cryptocurrencies may be very profitable, but it does require considerable investments and generates huge electricity bills. But hackers have found a cheaper option, surreptitiously exploiting the processors and smartphones. To lure victims, hackers turned to the digital world's equivalent of the Trojan horse subterfuge of Greek mythology, and signed an innocuous looking app or program hides a malicious one. The popularity of games makes them attractive for hackers. Recently, we have discovered that a version of the popular game Bug Smasher, installed from Google Play between 1 and 5 million times, has been secretly mining the cryptocurrency Monero on users' devices, said researchers at IT security firm ESET. The phenomena is apparently growing. More and more mobile applications hiding Trojan horses associated to a cryptocurrency mining program have appeared on the platforms in the last 12 months, said David M., a security researcher at Kaspersky Lab, a leading supplier of computer security and antivirus software. On mobiles, the processing power available to criminals is less, but there is a lot more of these devices, and therefore, taking in total, they offer a greater potential. But for smartphone owners, the mining is at best a nuisance, slowing down the operation of the phone and making it warm to the touch as the processor struggles to unlock cryptocurrency and accomplish other tasks. At worst, it can damage the phone. On Android devices, the computational load can even lead to bloating of the battery and thus physical damage to or destruction of the device, said ESET. However, users are generally unaware they have been cryptojacked, said him. Crypto jacking affects mostly smartphones running Google's Android operating system, so they say. Apple exercises more control over apps that can be installed on its phone, so hackers have targeted iPhones less. But Google recently cleaned up its app store, Google Play, telling developers that it will no longer accept apps that mine cryptocurrency on its platform. It is difficult to know which applications to block, said Pascal Le de Gaulle the country manager in France for US IT security firm Watchdog, given that there are new ones every day. Moreover, as the miners try to be as discreet as possible, the apps do not stand out immediately, he added. There are steps to take to protect one's phone. Besides installing an antivirus program, it is important to update your Android phone to the latest version of the operating system available to it, said online fraud expert Laurent Petriquet at F5 Networks. He also noted that people who decide to download apps from non-official sources are at more risk of inadvertently downloading a malicious app. Defending against cyber attacks of all kinds is a game of cat and mouse, said Lady Gold. You need to constantly adapt to the evolution of threats. In this case, the mouse made a large leap. Adding crypto jacking could evolve to other forms in the future to include all types of connected objects, the Internet of Things, and other ones. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for stopping by.